and we're back to another series of Let's Play, and I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and today we will start our playthrough of Shining Force Final Conflict for the Sega Game Gear. And I will say this, this is was wonderfully translated by the wonderful, wonderful people at Shining Force Central. Without them, I'd have to try and translate this and explain lots and lots of weird things. Luckily, those wonderful people and that wonderful community came together and made a wonderful translation of Shining Force Final Conflict. The one Shining game that kind of connects Shining Forces 1 and 2 together with the Gaiden stuff. The forces of darkness, the Runefust army, and darkness incarnate Dark Dragon. They destroyed and massacred as they tried to take over the world. Again, you know, everybody's trying to take over the world. <clears throat> they never let it go. However, Max led a troop known as the Shining Force to victory against the forces of darkness. Once again, the world was at peace. Now a new treachery begins. Hopefully, if you've seen Shining Force 2, you might start recognizing a lot of stuff. And Shining Force 1, of course. Mishila, it's taken a long time. At last I found you. What are you saying, Max? If that's the case, it's time to finish me, don't you think? <coughs> Too bad I'm not the same old Mishila you defeated before. Dun dun dun! Mistress Mishila, I am here. You can always rely on Lynx. Leave them to me. So, Max, it seems that you were here to stop us from fulfilling our dream. Do as you wish, Lynx. Well, Shiny Force, show me what you've got! Meridian, we can't let Mishila escape. Adam, take Mead and the others and go after Mishila. Understood, Master Max. We'll chase after Mishila. La 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 la. Need page sonnet. Let's go. Follow me. Righto. <laughs> and off they go. Meridian, you sneak up behind Lynx. Okay, Max. Or actually more... Okay, Max. They've gone after Mistress Mishila. I should get her set to her side quickly. Mm. Max fights well, however. Pity I can't stay. I must return to Mistress Mishila. Mm. <clears throat> Hold it, Lynx! You'll have to get past me at first! I'll knock you down and wipe the floor with ye, devil! <clears throat> and that didn't work quite the way Rudy and I think hoped for. Rudy and he got away. I'm concerned about Adam and the others. Let's hurry up and rejoin them. With this, Mashila, it's time for you to die. Your anger is useless. This is the uh, 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 end. Adam fires his laser cannon. Guess if he would have said less, he would have maybe hit her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't be defeated that easily. Aiku, destroy these hindering pests. I have my orders. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Take this, Blaze Level 3! Oh god, he's on fire. <laughs> You'll do well to realize just how much power I have. Now, Lynx, Aiku, Magus, let's go. Uh, Adam! Adam, are you all right? Master, Max. Sheila has damaged Adam. 
Mead, Page, Sonnet, you stay here and help. Adam. Ridian. Yes, help Adam. Ridian, follow me. We must go after Mashila. Please don't leave us here. Let us come and fight with you. Me, don't say such things. Adam will need someone to stay and assist him. Won't he? What a thing to say. I'm concerned that only two people are going through. Are going though. It should be okay, Page. Though you are gallant, you are needed here. Max and the others won't be harmed. That's right, Sonnet. I'll leave Adam in your capable hands. Ridian will come with me. The text moves so slow. Just you wait, Mashila. Ho, ho, ho. You're not going to stop me here. I'll cast Spark level 3. Your turn, Magus. Grounded! Lies level 2! More like a deep, it should be more guttural. How do you like that, Max? Oh. <laughs> Rudy, we must destroy Mashila and her devils to stop their evil plan at all costs. <laughs> yes, we will defeat them. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> So that we can finally get started here, and so begin Mishila's new ambition. But Max was on his way to stop her. After a fierce battle at the ancient temple, Max set off to pursue Mishila. I wonder what happens next. Oh, a visitor! Perhaps we can read this book together. So we will do that. <clears throat> I'd like to start from the beginning. May I ask your name? <laughs> we'll just leave it as Ian for now. Oops. So your name is Ian. Is it a cool name? That book may take some time. You best hurry along. The Shining Forest fought a long battle at the ancient temple on the continent of Promethea. Adam was damaged, and so they returned to the port town of Hassan to repair him. How are you feeling, Adam? Are the repairs working? I wonder. It's hope, 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 hopeless. I don't think I'll be able to fight anymore. The others will be able to fight, though. They're strong enough. We should set out to find Max as soon as possible. If you think it's necessary, Adam, set up a pursuing party. Indeed, I must protect Master Max and prevent the entire world from being destroyed. For that reason, we should leave here and try to pick up his trail. Don't worry, though. We'll be back. Adam should be doing fine now. When we brought him here to Hassan, I was worried he might never return to normal. <clears throat> There's no need to worry, Mead. There's a self-repairing mechanism inside me. I may not be completely repaired yet, but I'm not about to become a useless lump of metal. Nonetheless, we'll still worry a little. Adam is delicate, unlike me. That's right, Paige. Who would have imagined how Adam managed to recover? For an apprentice mage like Howell, this will be the sight of a lifetime. What are you saying about me this time, Sonnet? Some of you actually might remember Howell. He had a brief cameo, quote-unquote, in Shining Force 2. Do you really think that I'm just some useless academic? I've already taught you so much. What a waste of time. <clears throat> just kidding, just kidding. I've often had to depend on you and your experience, Howell. Okay, is everyone here? Well, let's journey to the ancient temple to see what devils we must face. Just a minute, shouldn't Knuckles be going with us? That lazy bones must have slept in again. He's really let Max down this time. He doesn't deserve to come with us. He'll always be late. He's always late, and we'll all we always have to wait for him. 
We'll be waiting all day for him to wake up and get here. That's right. There's no reason to let him delay us. When he comes out, he can join us. Let's go. Oh, dear Knuckles, what shall we do without you? What shall we do with you? If he shows up, I'll tell him you've already left. Thank you. We couldn't ask for more. <laughs> well then, Elder, our group should leave for the ancient temple now. We'll return soon. I'll be here waiting for you. Grandpa, could Ian please have a word with you? All right, wait inside. I'll be there in a moment. Ian became lost on his journey and came to Sun by coincidence. I believe Ian has something to tell Adam too, but I suppose he will have to wait until you return. Well, then let's go to the ancient temple. So clearly, many of you will remember the town of Hassan. Hey, wait up! I'm all set to come along and do my best! <laughs> and you thought I might do a baby's voice, because he looks like a little baby, but I can't do it. Knuckles, it's you! What in the world were you thinking arriving so late? If you hadn't got here in time, we'd be setting off for the ancient tumble without you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I slipped in late then rushed to get ready. I'm here because I know how important this is. Come along then. It's time to depart. I'm not going to remember all these voices, so don't get used to them. Well, everyone, let's go. I know that's all definitely not the voice you many of you heard in your head <laughs> for Knuckles, I'm sure. Chapter 1, The Ancient Shrine. A new journey begins. So Adam and his companions headed for the ancient temple to search for Max's trail. However, this is this it? This is this is the caravan. It's said to be a very convenient means of transportation. I can't like it. I don't understand. How do you get this thing to move? If we can only work out how to get inside. Oh well, that woman said it's okay to break it if we can't make it work. He's going to damage that ancient relic. Someone just had to come and spoil this. Well, abandon the caravan for now. Let's get out of here. Hey you, a thief like me is skilled enough to escape. Man, why don't you keep them company? The enemy is coming. Adam, you can't fight, but we can. Understood. Will then me please lead them? <clears throat> he has a lot of faith in them and me, doesn't he? So, <clears throat> I didn't, I wanted to make sure I didn't, you know, I wanted to make sure we read all that dialogue and a lot of it, the build up going in. But welcome to the Let's Play of Shining Force Final Conflict. I'm your host. If I didn't get to say it, I'm your host, the RPG guy. And, uh, yeah. Definitely needed to get this one done. I've been putting it off and putting it off. And, well, you know, you just get to a point where you're like, mm, I should probably do this game at some point. And then, lo and behold, here we are. <clears throat> In our first battle, again, I know that some of some of you out there might find this game to be a bit primitive. There's still a lot of entertainment and, and fun to be had uh, with this game. Um, it, it is dated for by any no stretch by well, I, I don't want to say any stretch of the imagination. That would be weird, but it's quite a dated game. Um, yeah, as you can clearly see, but it is a shining game nonetheless. I do want to check something out really quick. Um, okay. We don't have um, the means to repeat this battle very easily. Like many Shining games, <clears throat> I'll be the first to tell you I like repeating early first battles. 
Um, but there will be battles later in the game uh, coming up that we'll be able to repeat. We just can't do it with this one. So getting through it's kind of the more important element. Trying to spread the MP, the XP around is going to be uh, pertinent as well, depending on how you, you, you know, your play style and everything. And like I said, uh, the game is, is definitely, I know, hard for some people to enjoy. Um, so, you know, but yeah, it definitely is going to connect Shining Force 1 and 2. There are some very thin references to the Shining Force Gaiden games, arguably. And there's the debate on who is the father of Bowie. Is it is it one of the characters from this game? Or is it Nick from Shining Force Gaiden 1? Um, I believe... And I'm not going to answer that debate. I'm not going to get into the middle of that debate right now. Um, but there's a whole slurry of cool things that surround that just surround this game and I think you guys will really really enjoy it as we're gonna make our way through this through this battle as best as we can and of course knuckles can't reach because it's knuckles he sucks at many many things <coughs> and you can see we're trying to spread the damage around here. Um, let's. It should be. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be Howl. Unless I put Howl right next to. The slime. He's not gonna be able to reach anything, so we'll just put him. And that's fine. He doesn't have to necessarily go right now. We can put him right. Ah, god darn it. Forget these are Game Gear controls. Right there. That's a two, let's do that. <clears throat> Anything we can weaken so that it can be picked off by <coughs> our by our healer quote archer, any whatever character we want to use. The goblin's gonna get a turn, so we're gonna probably yeah. There we go. Making sure he doesn't get in on the kill. Knuckles can only attack. We'll make sure we bring um, our knight back here, um, Mead, so that way he's healed. And Howl can probably get the kill on. Uh, that other slime, if, if if necessary, and probably would be. I, I may we may as well well so because we, he should get a turn before anyone else does. And what are we talking for HP too? So there's not a guarantee that there's a kill, so we're definitely gonna blaze. Light it up, y'all. And so yeah, Howl's uh, clearly the reference to Sir Howl from uh, Shining Force Two, who is Kazin's teacher. So like I said, uh, there's lots of references. Now some may argue that he was the, um, he's not related, or he's like the great, like Sir Howl that we meet in, in Shining Force 2 is an ancestor. I'm not gonna get into that debate. There Again, like I said, I still think there's some people who have discrepancies about Shining Force uh, Final Conflicts being Though, it, yes, it is canon, it's still not clear where in the timeline for some reason that it is. But it makes sense. If Howl's a child in this game, then he's an old man in Shining Force 2. That should tell us how much time has gone by between Shining Forces 1 and 2. Um, to a degree. Because Max is clearly still alive in this game. So that, that to me, is a big discussion point. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit here and just speculate out my, my ass with a bunch of nonsense. Um, I will leave that to you, the wonderful people at Shining Force Central and the other... There's another couple of fan bases out there that are real diehards with Shining Force lore. Um, and, and like I said, there, there's not much of a debate, if even any. I think most of the debate is speculative at best about the backstory, who, you know, where who's really correct with the backstory. But yeah, the order of the games would be Shining Force, 
um, <clears throat> followed by Guidance 1 and 2, followed by Final Conflict, followed by Shining Force 2, followed by uh, Shining Force... I want to say Shining of the Darkness. No, no, not Shining of the Darkness. It's Shining in the Holy Ark. Shining Soul is in... Not Shining Soul. Shining Wisdom is in there somewhere. And then it's Shining Force 3. It's some, some, something like that. I'm not exactly 1,000% correct with where those those Sega Saturn ones lo lay out. I, off the top of my head. It'll come back to me. Um, but yeah, it's um, pretty roughly that. And then Shining of the Darkness is after, I think, all of that. So yeah, the weird the first no the first real shining game is actually the the, the uh, <coughs> latest one in the story. Um, so people who complain about like the Zelda timeline, there you go. It's arguable that Shining Force might have done it first. I wouldn't say they did it first. I'd say they definitely did do it though. So we're gonna end this fight. We don't want it to drag on too long. Because if we're gonna level up, there are better fights to do that in. But we got everybody except Knuckles, I think, and maybe Howl to level two. That's pretty good. What? My men can't have been defeated. I think now's the time for a hasty exit. I suppose you must be one of Miss Sheila's minions since you're here at the ancient temple trying to damage things. We can't let you go free until we have decided there is good reason to do so. You can't catch me. I won't go with you. Huh? Curses. I've been caught. The great Ruberin is ruined. Who are you and your gang? What were you doing here? <laughs> this guy's a... <clears throat> this guy's a heretic. He was trying to steal that ancient relic. Hey, show some respect, will ya? Don't call me this guy. What in the world is going on lately? First, that's the suspi first is that suspicious woman. Now this mechanical monster catches me. Suspicious woman, do you know what Mishila's plan is? Uh, what? I don't even know that w woman's name. And I can't say I'm too thrilled about being here. Well then. What was your gang of ruffians doing here at the ancient ruins, I wonder? Wait just a minute. The woman took my gang hostage. She threatened to us to bring back this ancient relic or else. This fellow must be a criminal trying to steal the ancient relic. We can't allow him to go. What do you think we should do, Adam? Well, first of all, we should probably return to Hassan to discuss this with the Elder. That's a good idea. Perhaps... That suspicious woman is Mishila. If she really is, we may be able to pick up Max's trail more easily. I see your point. We should hurry back to Hassan immediately. Lee, 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 lee. <laughs> uh. All right, so we head back to Hassan. Adam and the others returned triumphant to Hassan with Rubrin as their prisoner. However... I hear a sound from over there. Grandpa! Ian, I'm not important. Just go with Cynthia and escape. Ian bows his head in agreement. But Grandpa! Quickly catch them. The old man stays with me. You take the other ones. Lynx, follow me inside. Yes, Mistress Mishila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you. Don't let them escape. <coughs> Let's catch them. <laughs> Cynthia, are you okay? Who in the world are these monsters? I, I don't understand. They came here without warning. They wanted us to hand over Grandpa, of course. Of course we said we couldn't do that, so they started raiding our village. How dare they disrupt the peace of this village? Adam, Ian saved me, but Grandpa is still their captive. Please save him. 
I understand. Right, let's begin the rescue. Ian, we will fight alongside you. Ian bows his head in agreement. <clears throat> For silent antagonist, ho! Or protagonist, antagonist. <laughs> silent protagonist, ho! Okay, so no, okay, so the only person who didn't reach level two in the last battle, I believe, is gonna be Knuckles. Cynthia hit two. Need and I know he hit two, so. Ian the Swordsman comes in with a pretty decent attack. You know, though though he's level one. Okay. So this is a battle that's worth repeating now that we have Ian in our party. Uh, mainly because I believe he can egress on the fight. Um, and this is uh, going to allow us to get characters roughly to level three or four would be optimal and that's gonna vary from player to player you know it just depends on what you're trying you know what you're ultimately trying to accomplish so if he's got good movement we'll put him back here to soften up this goblin and Ian can actually strangely reach and like I said he comes with um, egress level one so there it is uh, the spell to make all spells you know the spell of spells that lets us kind of power up our characters as needed and so 50 xp to ian remember like in the various shining forces every time you level up you need 100 xp to level up uh i believe promotion is oh god i think it's 10 levels in shining force final conflict because of we are playing final conflict and the, there's not, only 20 some odd battles in this game which is very few when compared to um Shining Forces One, Shining Force One, and especially Shining Force Two, but that gives the hint that it's probably only about ten battles or so, or that it's the promotion threshold is going to be around level ten or, and if not, we'll take them to twenty. But I'm probably not going to take them to forty. But I do think it'll be level ten or so. Um, I'm not committed to that sentiment though. We'll see. If it lets us promote at level fifteen, we'll know. But I'm not going to promote anybody at level 15 right away. So we want, um, definitely want Knuckles to get the kill on that ooze that's been weakened by Howl. As Paige just critted that ooze, killing it real good. He levels to three. So we probably don't want Paige to do much for the rest of the fight other than weaken if we can, if we can, you know, accomplish that. Because again, we, he hits like a truck. So, he, which means he's going to continue to hit like a truck whether I want him to or not. So Knuckles will come up. And the reason I'm giving Knuckles this over the over Ian is mainly because Knuckles sucks. And we need Knuckles to get better. So there's a really good level. He got a three to his attack. Two to defense. So that's a good, good level. Thank God. Because that'll put his attack, I think, closer to Ian's. Um, <clears throat> making him more viable. We'll double check just to make sure attack of 11 versus an attack of 13. So yeah, it's a bit close. It's not 100% closer, but it is closer <clears throat> to Ian's attack. Making him a little stronger. We still want him to get kills, though. We still need to ensure that we get him to level 3 roughly as quickly as possible. Again, ho and then hoping when he levels up that he gets a uh, an attack bonus of 2 or higher would be nice. Again, putting him on par with the rest of the frontliners, give or take. All right, so the ooze did his deal. So we've knuckled down there. So he's in reach of the ooze at this point. Double attack, that's that's quite bad. Okay. Alright, so that means doesn't mean anything yet. So it's gonna dictate what I do here with damage. Okay, let's hit this orc with blaze, because that's gonna do significant damage. Making it so Ian can pick off the orc. Worst case, we're going to have what's-his-name do it. 
uh, page. But looks like Ian got it. He should level from this. He's one XP from leveling. I'm crying out loud. Can't get a break. Let's block Ian in so he can't be hit. This will just move everything forward, so should be okay. To weaken. And there's level three for Mead. Again, the XP is pretty darn good. In, 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 uh, in Shining Force Final Conflict compared to other ones. Let's go ahead and get the kill for Knuckles right now. And then we'll have him next round heal Ian. Because Ian's not doing so hot. I want to make sure we get Ian that, that level. Let's move Howl in. We've got the Goblin Hordes moving closer here. He's going to pull away. For reasons unbeknownst to me. Again, as long as Mead can reach, we'll let Mead continue doing his thing. We do have a medical herb, <laughs> medicinal, medical, whatever. Let's keep him right about there so Numbnuts can reach. Perfect. I kind of like how it's a like a midi ver like a lower tier MIDI version of Shiny Force 2 battle music. It's it's, it's got a charm to it. I, I can't I can't ignore. Now we could lose meat over this because reasons. Um let's try to prevent that. I didn't want to put him in range of the archer outright. The hunter goblin, yeah. Because that just would make it worse. And meat is exhausted and that's okay. That's quite alright. Um, I don't think she'll get a kill. Which doesn't help me right now. We kind of needed her to kill that that orc, but okay. That orc's going to get a turn, and he's going to go right after Howl if we're not careful. Nope, luck. We lucked out. Paige will keep him in his place there. Which the orcs a good kill for her, for for them. Ian can't reach anything, so that's bad. Now Howl I think is out of MP, so he's pretty much useless at this point. <clears throat> we just want to make sure Ian doesn't get knocked out here by any chance and we want to make sure Scarlet gets to level three Ian's still level one so any amount of kills that we can get him we want to get him we want or rather we want to make sure that he gets so we're gonna clearly let Sonnet take out this goblin so that'll level her to three giving her a little bit of a better attack which is no complaint for me we'll heal Ian. Ian will get to attack something, and we'll see what, because if he can't kill the, the, if he's not going to kill the goblin, yeah, he's not going to kill this goblin, he's 1 XP from leveling, so we're going to try to mid-max how much XP we get, we funnel to Ian right now. Okay, not a, not a strong level, but a, it'll do level, kind of level. <clears throat> Okay, he could actually kill that. You know what? We'll just let him hang out here. He's not hurting nobody. Hold. Ian kill this goblin. This hunter goblin.
and get the kill here. And then we're gonna get out of this fight. And Ian's now level three. Already doing great. Okay, we could end the battle here with everybody at level three, which isn't that bad, but so let's just egress. And so now that we're here, there's a few things that we can do. Uh, help swap item help. Raise. 60 bucks. Definitely something we can afford. And meat is revived. Uh, swap, save item. We'll save. Yes, we will continue our adventure. Um, I think we're good with all of that. <clears throat> so much like Shining Force Guidance 1 and 2, there's not really an overworld to do that much in. Just something to keep in mind. And also, because of what it is, we want to make sure we sneak or s get a peek around the overworld as best as we can because or around the battlefields because pretty much all all or many of the good items in the game are, are actually ones you gotta find and that means you're gonna have to sacrifice a character for a majority of a battle to get those good items so with that said guys this is a really great place for us to stop for right now so what i'm probably gonna do is i'm gonna grab that chest in the corner there okay and then yeah We'll come back when we come back. We'll, we'll actually complete this battle, um, so that way you can see how far I got characters and that you can check out their stats and how they kind of uh, how they perform and whatnot. So, going forward and all of that. So, anyway, thanks guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash actor studios, for more live gaming action. And, like I said, when we come back, we will uh, finish this battle with our characters roughly around level four maybe even five, just to push them along really good in this second battle, since we didn't do any grinding in the first battle. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.